Here we are in the heart of Coconut Grove. Anybody who is anybody in Miami has been here at least once in their lifetime. This little place attracts thousands of tourists from all over the world year round, whether it's to eat, shop, or just hang out. What place am I talking about? You guessed it, Coco Walk. Beach Arista is an Italian restaurant located in many places around the world. It is described by the New York Times as being too chic, too crowded, and too self-consciously European. Yet, everyone wants to visit. The founder, Roberto Ruggeri, was inspired by his mother's restaurant in Milan, Italy. Beach Aristro in Miami has had many well-known customers, including Bill Blas, LeBron James, and Gianni Versace. But what does it take to have a successful business running over here? Or more importantly, a restaurant? With the constant amount of wealthy customers who expect perfect performance and excellent service, what is the image you have to maintain? What are the obstacles you are willing to face? With competition constantly improving, how is it possible to juggle all the expectations? Does the kitchen have to be clean? What they don't know won't hurt them. Follow me and together let's find out. I think 30 years ago when I came to this country, I came to New York. My aunt, she's working in the jewelry store. And easy for me because I love to eat. Restaurant is for me. That's, I started in the restaurant. My mom is a cook for many, many years in my country. And uh, I love cook. My favorite dish is uh, doing like a uh, fish. I don't eat fish, but I do a fish and everybody loves it. That's my favorite to make it, not to me. for 32 years already and I take a little from here, a little from here, a little from here and I put them together. That's why I got the shop here. That's it. Thank you very much. Coconut Grove. Originally, you asked me where I'm originally from? Massachusetts. New Bedford, Massachusetts. We're from the Netherlands. I'm from Barranquilla, Colombia. Came to the movie once and we tried it, we liked it, we've been coming back for five years, six years, ever since. Uh, now we're, uh, we went here uh, a few days ago and we liked it very much, so we go today also. Uh, the food. Your aunt. Yeah, you know, food, the food, the is very accommodating, and we go to the movies here all the time, and that's why we come back. We like the food very much. Uh, the chicken parmesan. Regular customer? Absolutely. A resident. Oh, a resident? No, a regular customer? Yes, absolutely. I am. around December all the way to May. That's officially is our season and we get a lot of Europeans. 
they come in and they're normally a group of people with families they spend a lot of money especially from France, Germany and England during the summer, the slow season, we get a lot of tourists from South America Brazil, Argentina, Chile and they spend a lot of money, they come with family but not as much in 2013, 755,550 Brazilians, 485,275 Argentinians, 192,362 French, and 155,873 Italians visited Miami. Only from those selected countries, Miami gains a total of 1,589,060 tourists. Out of those numbers, only 0.5% will visit Coco Walk. That is 377,775 Brazilians, 242,634 Argentinians, 96,181 French, and 77,936 Italians. A grand total of 794,526 only from those countries. 17.5% will visit because of a favorite restaurant. The average visitor will spend about $105 only on meals a day. This adds up to a total of 83,870,164 only for food per day. This not only helps the community of Coconut Grove, but is also growing constantly and improves the employment record. We always can count on the same people coming for years and years and years. In this type of restaurant that we've been here for 25 years, we've seen a lot of regulars come in and out, and we get to know the families, and we treat them like family. been here 21 years. What do you think is the secret to keep this restaurant successful? Uh, the secret with this restaurant and any other restaurant is consistency. We have the same employees been working here for many years and we always come in with a good attitude, smiling and try to make people happy. That's, that's, this is my profession, this is what I do and I've been doing this for 40 years. have a good attitude to people. You have to be able to like people to be in this business. If you don't like people, find something else. Work in an office, do computer, anything behind the door. Because when you're in the hospitality business, you have to like people. And it works both ways. Pretty much have to say I worked my way up. I started as a server. I worked my way to assistant manager and after assistant manager they gave me the managing position and there's a lot of expectations coming from the owner to have somebody running his one of his favorite restaurants in the whole world. This is my year number 10. I started working here 10 years ago. It's like a little village. Once you are inside the grove, you pretty much forget where you're at. It's like it absorbs you. And everywhere you go in the grove, it's your family. If you go to have a drink at a bar, they know you, they know you by name. If you come to the restaurant, like you noticed before in your interview, I have people that have been coming here for six, seven years. We already know what they drink, that what they eat, how they like it. So I think that's part of the success of Beche, that we care about our guests and we treat them like family. We start with how you greet the guests. Since the guest is approaching the restaurant about five feet, you can start greeting with a smile, a shake of a hand, of course how you take care of the guest on the table, and don't forget to a very sincere farewell to engage relationships. That is the key to success on a business like this, engaging relationships. People come because the server make them feel good and make them have a good time. That's why they come back. It's not just because of the food is great, it's how you engage with the people. So you make them feel good so they come back for you. Bring it.
What? 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 Uh. On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Dance floor.